Hello guys, today we learn about differentiation and when we talk about differentiation we mean the change in y due to x, the change in y due to x, the change in y due to x or change in y, uh, change in y compared to change in x when x has a precise value, precise value of x. When x has a precise value of x. Precise value to mean a known value of x. In this, you look at the change of the dependent variable due to the change of independent variable. Let's look at the laws, the laws of differentiation or the rules of differentiation. So we want to look at rules of differentiation. The rules of differentiation. Let's learn about rules of differentiation. And we have one, what we call constant rule. Constant rule. When you talk about constant rule, this is differentiation where we have a constant involved. For instance, when you are given y equals to a, and a is a constant where a is a constant, and a constant I mean is just a letter or an integer alone. So we can now, when we get the differentiation dy over dx, what we shall get is a value equals to zero. And I can give you an example, e.g. If you do, if you are given y equals to 18, when you get dy over dx, the result is zero. You can also have y equals to 100. 100 is our constant. dy over dx will be given by zero. You can also get y equals to even 1,000 dy over dx will still be equals to zero. The second rule is what we call power rule. The second rule is what we call the power rule. And the power rule is whereby we have x raised to a certain power. For instance, when you are given y equals to x power five. Let me talk of n first, x power n. When you differentiate this dy over dx, the rule says that this n becomes a multiplier of x there, then we have n minus one. This is the differentiation. Example, example, if you are given y equals to x power five, and you are taught to find dy over dx, the solution is simple, that dy over dx is given by this 5 becomes a multiplier of x. You multiply 5 times x, then you have 5 minus 1. This means you shall have 5 x raised to power 4. This is the answer. Another example, you can be given y equals to x power 9. This means if you are finding dy over dx, this 9 multiplies to x, 9 multiplied by x, then you have x, 9 minus 1. The 9 is our n, just the same way here the 5 is our n. So the solution becomes 9x power 8. One last example, when you are given y equals to x power 12. When to find dy over dx, still we have our n here, you take our n which is 12, you multiply by x and you have 12 minus 1. That means our answer becomes 12 x power 11. 11 is 12 minus 1. Let us look at the third rule. 
The third rule is still power rule, but this time with an integer. Power rule with integer. So we are doing differentiation whereby the x is raised to a certain power, but it has an integer. So I'll say, if you are given y equals to a, which our a is our integer, and we have x raised to power n. If you are told to differentiate this, dy over dx, this power says that dy over dx will be given by this integer, you multiply it by n, you, mul you multiply this by x, then we have n minus 1. Example, example, you can be given y equals to 10x squared. And you are told, find the dy over dx or integrate. To integrate to find dy over dx, you take these two, we, uh, you take these two, which is our n, this 10, which is our integer, you take 2 times 10, 2 times 10 is 20. Then you have x, our n, which is 2 minus 1. The answer becomes 20x power 1. You can still be given y equals 15x power 3. You are told find dy over dx. dy over dx is given the same way. 15 is our integer. You take 15 multiplied by the power, that is a multiplied by n. So 15 times 3, 15 times 3, then we have x, we have our n, 3 minus 1. This means we get 45, then we have x raised to power 2. That is our answer. Last example, you can be given y equals to 8x power 6. And you are told find dy over dx, dy over dx. To get dy over dx, take our integer, multiply by the power. That is 8, multiply by 6, and then we have our x there. The, the power 6, you less 1. That means 8 times 6, you get, 8 times 6, you get 48. X raised to power 5. That becomes our answer. Let's look at some rule. Let us look at some rule. Some rule. Some rule states that when you are given y equals to u plus v. To get or to differentiate this, to get dy over dx, you differentiate du in respect to x. And you plus the differentiation of dv in respect to dx. Example. We have when you are given y, y equals to 2x squared plus 3x squared. So, for this, I will differentiate this. I know this, my u, this is my u, this is my u, this is my v. So, to get du over dx, I differentiate this. When you differentiate 2x, you get 4x. To get my dv over dx, my v is here, I differentiate 3x squared, which means I take 2 multiplied by 3, I get 6, I minus power of 1 here, I get x. Now, to get dy over dx, I simply take my du over dx, du over dx, plus dv over dx. That means I take 4x plus 6x. This gives me 10x. To prove this is right, to prove this is right, to prove this is right, I start by simplifying this. So, if I'm given the same, 2x squared plus 3x squared, I can simplify this. I can simplify. I can simplify this to 5, 2 plus 3 is 5. Then we have x squared. Then, I can take now my dy over dx just to see whether this is right. That means I differentiate this. That means you take 2 times 5, that is 10. Then we have x, 2 minus 1. 
This means we have 10 x raised to power 1, and that becomes our answer.